dreaming about the village is a very terrible thing. It does not support the progress and good plans of someone. It initiates someone into bondage of the ancestral powers. When you dream and see yourself in the village, it means you stand the risk of spiritual pollution, contamination and oppression. This dream indicates there are problems in your family tree. It is a revelation that shows that there is a common problem that is prevalent in your family line is affecting you. Most people that normally have this dream are battling with ancestral evil idols of the father's house. Their foundation is porous. The spirit of their great grandfather is what's operating in their lives. We have some sets of people outside their country dreaming about the village. It is a spiritual whistle blowing at your ears to deport you back home. Many people that do encounter this dream almost on a daily basis lack the spiritual powers to engage with these domestic demons that torment them in the dream. Anytime you see animals pursuing you in the dream shows that the enemy of the village is trying to imprison your life and hinder you from achieving good things in life. Dreaming about the village is a dream that gives you the outlook of the wickedness of your father's or mother's house. It gives you the awareness of the background of your family line. It makes you to understand the evil works that is currently prevalent in your village. Dreaming about the village should change your prayer pattern and increase your spiritual alertness. It takes a truly born-again Christian to understand this fact. Most spiritual arrows that attack people today comes through the powers of the father's house and mother's house. When the hands of your parents are not clean, you will dream about the village. When you have offended people in the village, the rage of the enemy will fight against you. When you have refused to relate with people in your village, you will keep on dreaming about strange things in the village. When your parents takes you to the village for child dedication, there is a certain covenant between you and the spirit of idolatry powers in the village. When people keep touching your body or children's body, they will keep having serious problem in life until such person's hand is withered in the spirit realm. The life of many people have been programmed in the village. The spirit of the village is the spirit of struggle and poverty. Until you battle the recurring dream of the village, you may not be able to get a thorough deliverance. When you keep chasing after prosperity and you know that this dream has not left you, you will keep having serious problem with money. If you keep thinking I must get married, she is my wife, he is my husband-to-be and you have refused to pray your prayer out of this evil dreams, it may surprise you that the wicked of wickedness in your village may not allow it to work out. Spiritual control is the physical. It is sad that this is most common as an attack among most people who are in great expectant of a major breakthrough in life. These demons from the village would make sure that their victims keep struggling under the anointed of wasted effort. Those who have gathered lots of successes and blessings have them shrinking away. When you dream about the village, it is a spiritual disturbance. This is an indication that there is a part of your destiny have been buried somewhere in the village. This destiny and the village keep talking and keep dragging you into backwardness, retrogression and excessive failures in life. Any person that stands a chance of making it in life they bring down such person in life. And if such person marry, this may bring serious marital problem, quarreling and most times seeking for divorce is a form of tiredness in the marriage. Whatever activities happens in the village dream has the capacity to influence your life negatively. To get yourself delivered from the witches and wizards in the village, you must ask God to show you those people who are responsible in your current situation. Tell God to break every covenant between you and the village. Command the fire of God to scatter any ancestral power housing your destiny and that of your family in the evil altar. In Psalm 11, 3 says, If foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? What to do? This is what to do, give your life to Christ too. Repent from all your sins and confess them to God 3. Ask God to baptize you with fresh power 4. Command the fire of God to touch your foundation. Every power of witchcraft tying my glory to the past fall down and die by fire in the name of Jesus. Every witchcraft power invoking my glory for backwardness fall down and die by fire in the name of Jesus. Every witchcraft agent using my past to tie down my glory fall down and die by fire in the name of Jesus. Every household witchcraft powers trading with my glory fall down and die by fire in the name of Jesus. Every agent of darkness using my glory to benefit himself, herself or somebody else fall down and die by fire. Every evil covenant of witchcraft from my father and mother's family manipulating my glory be destroyed by fire. Powers mentioning my name on any evil altar, shut up and die, in the name of Jesus. O Lord arise, set me free by fire from every negative attachment from my foundation in Jesus' name every strange covenant from my foundation speaking against me, 
be broken in Jesus' name. You demon of my father's house that attached itself to my life, leave me alone in Jesus' name. Any evil foundation raised for my life, be crumbled in Jesus' name. Evil foundation laid by my ancestors that is affecting my rising, break by fire in Jesus' name. Every evil foundation speaking against my rising be uprooted in Jesus' name. You power that tied my life to my father's house. Release may know by firing Jesus Nami decree what stopped my father and mother in life will not stop me. Where they stopped I will not stop there in Jesus name.